So today, well, the other day I was riding in the town, and of course when you go into town you get a flat tire. If you stay on the dirt trails and go mountain biking, you might get a poke here and there, but I got a nail on my tire going into town the other day. So, we are going to kind of make this like a, like I'm out on the trail. <clears throat> And do a tube replace <clears throat> now I usually I always I had a flat once on the trail once where I had to walk back good probably 10k 5 10k and that day I learned my lesson to bring a tube with me and I always keep it strapped to the bike right here <clears throat> and I carry my tools and my bag and uh, I've seen people on the side of the trail changing their tubes out. It happens, so um, it's better to have one than to not have one, that's for sure. <clears throat> and I carry what I need in my bag. <clears throat> I have two tubes. I ordered two this time. So that I could uh, have one on the bike and one to fix with today. Gotta keep an eye on those dogs. So I'm gonna show you what I have in my pack here. This is what I usually have with me. It's a hydro pack. Carry lots of water to drink, but also has my stuff that I bring along on the trail. <clears throat> Since I bring the dog with me quite often, I have this, this uh, harness, basically. It's a rescue pack to sling up Raven or the other dog, uh, Tara, if something happens I have a way of carrying her out it's also actually helicopter compatible so if search and rescue needs to get her they can lift her it's quite compact it fits in the bag and what else do we have in here chain repair tool it's brand new the tools and the things I need to Fix the chain if it breaks. Hopefully, it gives me the ability to do that. Being on an e-bike, I think it's more of a factor. I've heard of a lot more guys breaking chains with the motors on them because it's more force. Oh, always good to have a little snack in case something happens. These are the tube or the tire uh, levers. I have. A few of them. I actually just got a new set recently too. I've had one break. I had one break on me a little while ago. Come here. Here's some of the newer ones that I got. These look maybe a little more fragile. These older ones I have have metal. I have a metal band inside them. But we're gonna try them all out today. And a Hex multi wrench. What else do we have in here? Oh, batteries for my camera. CO2 cartridge for airing up the tire. Um, we're going to cheat a bit today. I have an air compressor in the garage here. I'm going to probably use this. It's to put in the brakes while you take the tire out so the calipers don't compress. I have some other stuff here. This is a tube repair kit, basically. It has some patches. And you can patch, so I could probably even just patch this tube up. But it's so small, it just fits in the bag. Crazy stuff happens. You know, what happens if you replace your tube on your ride and then you get another hole? <laughs> Lightning strike twice. Another little multi screwdriver kit here. There's so much stuff in this bag, but you never know. Oh, there's more levers and a little pocket knife. These are actually really nice levers. I like those levers a lot. Bear banger. 
Yep, handy, it's an off. I feel like I'm unpacking my purse. What else? Got more stuff in here. No, I got a lot of levers. Zip straps. Zip straps are good to have. You never I had one time where I needed them, so now I carry them. A little multi tool. Good to have too. Yeah, they all add weight, but whatever. It's good to have them if you need them. Don't really notice it too much on my back anyway. We're going to need that. Don't need this. We're going to need this. I don't need that. I can put these back in. Don't need to replace, fix the chain. Don't need that. I don't think we'll need this. We might need batteries, but I don't know. Put those. We'll keep these out because I need to charge them. Electrical tape, always good to have. And so I ordered a new, there's a thing that goes on top of this cartridge that you can attach or connect it to your tube to fill up your tube. I ordered a new one off of Amazon. It'll work with either Schrader or Presta. The tubes that came with this bike are Schrader, sort of the old school type of type of tube. Larger stems on them with the caps, old school. And uh, the rims are usually made for one or the other with the holes being either large enough to hold a Schrader or small enough for the Presta. So I figured I would just get the same tubes. Doesn't really make much of a difference. Some people swear by one or the other, but pff, tube's a tube. Good to put what came, or good to put at least what works with your wheel. So being out in the bush, you don't have a bike stand. I don't have one here anyway, so we're going to do this kind of bush style in my driveway. And it's more complicated because it's the rear wheel. Front wheel is so easy with a quick release. No derailleur, no chains. Honestly, <laughs> you do what you got to do, but usually not as fun doing a back wheel as it is a front one. So let's grab this. Start. Start with the with the axle. One's too small and one's too big. Oh, that's the right size. Loosen it off. We're gonna have to mess with this a little bit. Oh look, I have an audience. Let's put this out of the way for now. I used to like having my bike up on the handlebars to work on stuff, but with the screen and everything on this thing, it gets a little sketchy. Okay, let's get this bike up so it's easier to work on. I've got to be careful of the display. It's not very cool. I don't like that very much. That's not too bad. Protected. Working out their energy. Okay. Here we go. First step. 
Let's get this wheel off of here. Oh, look at that. One side is definitely smaller than the other. This is kind of good practice, actually, for if I'm out there and I gotta deal with this shit. Too bad. Okay, let's get our brake thing here. This is going to come right out. We'll pull back on the derailleur. It's always a bit of finagling. You're going to get greasy fingers. break thing in here. Just pop. I should actually check my brake pads while I'm at it. They look pretty good still. Got a little ways to go. I'll just pop that in there like that. Okay. Wheels off. That was actually not too bad. She's flat. Okay. Gonna grab something else. In the bush, I wouldn't have this luxury of putting things down in clean spots, but it ain't gonna help, huh? Are you gonna help me? No. Okay, this is the fun part, getting the tire off. At least we don't have to take the whole tire off. Just enough to get the tube out. Yeah. She's tight. This is going to be a fun one. This is going to be a fun one. Can't even get my lever in there. Yeesh. This is so tight. Makes you wonder how they even get them on there. Wow. Let's see if we can get a little leverage with one of these ones. Oh yeah, that one got under there a lot better. But it broke. Just like I thought it would actually. Some shitty little tired lever. Look at that. The hell they make those levers for? Garbage. Garbage lever. Let's get that out of there. Yeah, you can imagine how fun this is on a trail. If you had to do this out in the bush. Let's grab my little driver tool. I don't know. Back in the old days, we used screwdrivers. This doesn't have a blade screwdriver. I 
The screwdriver is probably not a very good idea because it's small. Has a very narrow place where it will lever against instead of a wide place so it can tend to bend things. But in this situation, I just can't get my lever under there. At least with the screwdriver, I can get it away enough to get this lever in there. I don't know how I would have done that without that screwdriver. I better start bringing a screwdriver around with me everywhere I go. And then, get a little more space here. Can't go too far. I think we're good. I think we're good now. I think we can get the rest of this off of here. There. Yeah. Right. Need knee pads. Let's get this out of here. And oh, she comes. Got a freaking nail in this thing. Where is it? Here it is. Freaking brutal. Oof, that's a big one too. Good size nail. Fuck. Just bullshit. People losing their nails and stuff. All over the roads or wherever. Sometimes it's safer driving on the dirt than on the roads with all the nails. Okay. Tube is out. New tube. New tube. All right. Halfway there. Let's find the hole. There it is. Tara, Tara, come on. Get this tube in here. Kind of push it under the rim there, under the wheel. Here's the stem. Get this down and have it come out eventually. 
like so. There we go. Perfect. Good sized, good size wheel, good size tube for there. Now the fun part. Okay, back to the tire. Got almost all of it back on. I'll just pry it back on to the, t to the wheel here. Definitely easier getting it back on than taking it off. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Now, let's get this thing back on the bike. Just gotta make sure everything fits in just the right way. Get that disc into the right spot. Right in there. Just getting it to fit right is fun times. Got to get it in those calipers. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, I can be getting it in just in the right spot, but let's throw this axle in here. Get this side lined up. Tight. Let's get some air in this tire. Forgot to turn the camera on when I was filling up filling it up with air, but that's pretty minor. You know how to put air in a tire, I'm sure. But she's nice and full now, and she works good. And that's all it was. Not bad.